our episode begins as Wahlberg's followers are heading to end the grand battle between him and Innocent. One of them is named Aston, and the other is called Ryo. The mission was extremely difficult. The journey was long and arduous, taking them more than two days, and now they are very close to reaching the Magic Academy. Aston speaks to Ryo, mentioning that they have taken a very long time, but they are almost reaching the Magic Academy. Then Rayo takes out a mirror to fix his hair, to which Aston remarks about the odd timing to fix one's hair during flight. Rayo defends himself, saying that appearance is crucial for a person of his stature. Suddenly, a big surprise occurs. While they are flying, Aston gets stuck in mid-air and can't move. Rayo is surprised by this turn of events and wonders how it happened. Then he notices three chicks also suspended in the air. It turns out they were all frozen in place. Then he deduces that one of them cast a time-stopping spell, and Aston entered its aerial range to neutralize it. This means that anyone with weak magical power would be frozen in time. Rayo continues his path, hoping everyone is safe. Finally, he arrives and calls out for Kalto and the others. He is completely amazed by their power as they defeated a large number of their enemies. However, Kaldo informs him that they were not alone. There are many exceptional students at Aston. Rayo wonders what happened to the Mushroom Head, referring to Mash, who was targeted by Innocent. Caldo assures him that Mash is fine and even managed to defeat one of Innocent's main members, which Ryo finds impressive. As they watch Mash elegantly eating sweets, something unusual happens. Auti says to him that the important thing now is that Wahlberg is facing Innocent, but they don't know the location of their fight. It's likely that Innocent used teleportation magic to move the battle elsewhere but Out Eye doesn't have the slightest idea of their current location. Mash raises his hand, indicating that he will go search for them. He informs them that he will use his muscles and then rushes off quickly. While the others discuss him, Out mentions that despite his peculiar condition, he cannot use detection magic to find him. Nevertheless, he decides to interrogate this man and learn everything about Innocent's goal. This is the most efficient and logical action. Sir approaching the man who was fighting Mash, a very dangerous member. Out uses considerable force on him, but something strange happens. A barrier forms around him, then someone unknown and unseen uses teleportation magic to move him from his place. At that moment, Macron arrives and informs them that the main member was unconscious, but it wasn't due to magic he used himself, meaning there is still one of Innocent's followers lurking nearby. Let's investigate. But we must be extremely cautious because leaving this area will expose all students to danger. We must avoid this no matter the outcome. However, we must remain very alert and prepared at all times in case the enemy attacks. Wahlberg will be their guide and will triumph over the enemy with God's help, as he wants to protect everyone. Meanwhile, Rayo speaks to himself, hoping that Wahlberg, if he is indeed weak, will be saved soon. He prays to God to find Mash as soon as possible. The scene then shifts to the sky, where the great battle is taking place. In this intense moment, Suna asks Wahlberg if he's not tired yet, to which Wahlberg responds that it's Suna's turn next. He asks to see what Suna has, remembering their teacher's words about understanding everything one day because Suna is very strong. Then Wahlberg tells Suna to leave everything to him now, and the great battle begins. Innocent uses the time freeze ability, but Wahlberg counters with time-stopping magic, showcasing incredible speed. Then he uses spatial combat, but Suna is surprised by how amazing it is and wonders when Wahlberg learned to manipulate time. Innocent tries to rewind time again, turning Wahlberg's hand and half his face into skeletal structure and also severing his left hand. Wahlberg realizes that Innocent exploits vulnerabilities at the moment of attack. He then uses powerful magic, like time-stopping repeatedly. Wahlberg then uses his power, the space rush, to strike Innocent, but Innocent manages to block it. Wahlberg never gives up and decides to continue his attack to prevent Innocent from exploiting the timing difference in his favor. He intends to cut through everything, even the time-stopping magic. In response, Innocent tells Wahlberg that all this effort will make him exert a great deal to defeat him. Wahlberg is surprised to find that Innocent is behind him as Innocent stops time before Wahlberg can do anything. Then Innocent uses time reversal magic and strikes Wahlberg. He speaks to him and tells him that what he's doing won't benefit him in any way because the difference in their strength is immense. Innocent points out that Wahlberg was only concerned about himself as he was ambitious and willing to make sacrifices while Wahlberg never cared about himself. 
Instead, he continued to focus on protecting others and became incapable of prioritizing himself. Innocent concludes that humans without pride are very weak, and this is the result of Wahlberg's self-deprecation to impress others. Wahlberg tells him that they won't live just for themselves. They must make sacrifices for others. He recalls his childhood when he was weak, had no outstanding qualities, was very cowardly, and didn't fit in at school. He didn't have friends and began skipping school due to a lack of confidence and fear of rejection. Instead of becoming an outcast, he cut off opportunities to connect with people. Gradually, he felt that the world lacked passion and was dull. So he became very pessimistic. At that time, he met Adam where he tried hard to get him to come to school. He made frequent visits to his house without permission and always told him strange facts about animals. No matter how coldly Adam treated him, he never gave up and stayed close to him until one day he asked him why he stayed by his side all this time. Adam replied that he couldn't leave him alone. When Warburg heard these words, they saved him from what he was going through, and that one sentence made him happy. Then we return to reality once again, where Wahlberg speaks to Innocent that there is no shame in living for oneself as he does. However, he will never abandon those weaker than him. Innocent understands that he wants to unleash the power of the space triad at this moment. Even though he knows that this could cost him his life, he will never change his conviction in helping others. This conviction is what Wahlberg inherited from his teacher. Innocent thinks to himself that even among the triad's wielders, only a few are allowed to reach the pinnacle of magic. Indeed, Wahlberg uses his power to shape a monster to defeat Innocent. Wahlberg said to Innocent, There's no use in running anywhere. This is the end of your journey because this is the least I can do as a counterpart. He then deleted the world of Uranus and used his magic. He told Innocent, With this, I will sever the bond between you and me for a long time. Innocent used his magic and was able to stabilize time, stopping all time in space. Since I control time, there's no attack that can affect me, and your loss was inevitable the moment we faced off. I will send you to your grave now. Innocent threw the time arrows at Wahlberg, and Wahlberg was hit by these arrows. Wahlberg said to Innocent, You won't survive those injuries, but he was hit by a fatal blow. Wahlberg told him, The triad unleashes the true power of the magic staff when charged with maximum magical force. Even if the wielder dies, the staff's will continues to cast the spell. I have been conserving my magical power all this time for this purpose. Innocent was astonished by what was happening and said, You planned this from the beginning. Wahlberg replied, I haven't completed my duty. I have been observing all this time the kind students who protected Bias's future friends. There's a determined student who seeks to change the world's laws to save his little sister and another kind-hearted student who aspires to become a beacon of hope and protect his friends, correcting mistakes so he can live with his grandfather without magic. This world could be much better, full of kindness, respect, and acceptance of each other's flaws. That's why I must save them because the weak and fragile souls, like I once was a long time ago, need to achieve this goal. I must be a pioneer in this endeavor and lead others. And Wailabra uses his power to protect his students, and they both disappear after using magic. A beam of light emerges, and Laura says, This is magic, and it's space magic, astonishing everyone with the appearance of this figure. Laura says again that the figure didn't shrink. Otto tells him that space magic has been activated in an expanded area, and the figure disappears. Then we see Wallabra looking forward again and finds Innocent. He asks him, Was the enchantment not activated, or did you reverse time? So Innocent uses his magic again the arrows of time, and attacks Wallabra with the force of space combat. Innocent strikes him, and Wallabra falls. But Innocent catches him, saying, You're strong, but I'll become stronger than you. I live for myself only. You can't surpass me. Wallabra thinks to himself, Our idealistic thoughts will vanish without anyone achieving them, and you've made this world very fragile to the point where it's trampled upon with such a belief, a narrow horizon. Tsudmisifality, he cries, and then Innocent bids him farewell. At that moment, Mash finally appears and attacks Innocent, causing a time clock to fall from him. Mash says to him, During admission, you asked me if I faced something that greatly surpassed me, I'd expand it with a blow of my fist. Finally, today's episode ends. Stay tuned for the upcoming episodes, and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all the latest updates.